down there. Hi everybody, welcome to Polly's Crochet Creations. I'm Tori, your hostess. So, <clears throat> today is May 18th, 2021, and I had a little shopping trip. Yeah, and you know where I went, <laughs> Michael's. Um, so I picked up uh, some stuff at Michael's, I picked up some stuff at Walmart, um, and a little bit of groceries and stuff. And got my coffee. So we're going to get into showing you what I got. Um, I also went to the dollar store as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you what I got at Michael's first. Oh, honey, lay down. Will you lay down? Will you lay down? Thank you. I have a little visitor. Yes. See? I have a little visitor. You say hi to the people. Say hi. Say hi, people. Hmm. My little girl. Bully with buddy. Okay, so stuff out the Michaels. And I literally had to break down and buy one. Because make sure. You get a workout, roll it up your yarn, but I decided to break down and buy one. So I'm going to give it a shot. It's loops and threads. Um, I'm going to see how it works first. The small one, I'll just try the small one. If I like them, maybe next year I'll buy a bigger one. And um, hopefully by next year, I'll actually have my office and my yarn room done. When I was at Michael's, I actually bought these yarn key tags. So when I do up um, a cake of yarn or whatever, I can put the ball band in there. So I told everybody that I was going to get more of this. This is Red Heart Soft, 5 ounces, 141 grams. 256 yards, 234 meters, and it is a number four, a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and a 5 millimeter kneading needles. It is machine washable and dryable. This pattern here is a crochet pattern, and it is the... Uh, herringbone stitch and I'm going to be trying that cowl so about four balls of that put that back yes so about four balls of that now when I was shopping, this tiny, lonely little guy, it's called Flex Yarn. Uh, it's 590 yards, 10.58 uh, ounces, 539 meters, 300 grams. It is $11.99 originally. It's loops and threads, and it's the Fleck Yarn. And this is the colorway uh, light gray. Now, this is the only ball that they had left. And the reason I picked it up is because it was saying, like, please buy me. Please buy me. So I bought it. I might make, make a blanket out of it. I might make a baby dress out of it. I don't know. But it's got kind of like purple and white flecks going through it. That's purple. And that's white. And then it's gray yarn. It says, hand wash in cold water, do not bleach, dry flat. Now, I've had I've heard podcasters say that they've thrown this in the washer and in the dryer and nothing's happened, so. But, <clears throat> and it is 70, 79 acrylic. 
and 21 polyester. So, and I think the reason that you don't throw it in the dryer is because of the polyester. And guess what I found? Caron Skinny Cake. They had three. And I couldn't pass this up. I went with all the balls that I found to the checker and I checked the balls before I went to the checkout. These were $5 a piece. This is blueberry pudding. It is a lightweight number three. Four millimeter knitting needles, four millimeter crochet hook. It is machine washable and dryable. 100% acrylic, 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams. Uh, 795 yards and 727 meters. There's the specs. Now, this here is a crochet pattern. That's what that symbol means. I love this and I am going to try and make it. This is going to be something new that I'm going to try this year. I want to do something different other than just baby blankets and um, hats, cowls, whatever. I want to try and do something different. So that was my little trip to Michael's. Oh, and I did forget. I did forget. Um, I almost forgot. I did pick up another one of these. It's crochet thread. I love the rainbow colors. And I'm going to try and use this in my um, beading endeavor. Um, I've never crocheted with anything smaller than a four. And this here takes... You have to use a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook. So that should be actually quite interesting because half the time I can't see. So... <clears throat> I love this yarn. I love this yarn. This is so gorgeous. So I can't wait to use that yarn. I'm like so looking forward to it. So that was my little trip to Michael's. Now, I also got this. Um, it was originally $5.99. They put it down to $1.50 because it... Uh, It says it doesn't stay it doesn't stay closed so and like I said with these here all you have to do is just take a piece of tape or if you have a big enough headband or something like that you just take a headband wrap it around it and it'll keep it closed like easy um, so I have plans on using this for um, finished stitch, stitch markers uh, extra extra beads because I do buy a lot of beads so I have plans on for using that now I did buy I went to Walmart and I uh, hmm. oh yeah McDonald's coffee. I love McDonald's coffee. I went to Walmart. Oh, and I forgot. I picked up this one, too. It's a little disheveled. But I can always use my yarn winder. I picked up that one, too. The one little ball that was sitting there, and I'm like, because I love the colors. And that's going to be good for my... Uh, Um, love your blankets. So I went to Walmart and I bought a few things at Walmart. Um, now my Walmart trip was actually quite interesting because I actually wanted to get a couple of 
$100 gift cards or MasterCards because I wanted to do some ordering on online, but I decided to wait. So I decided to pick up, um, well, these ones are different. Oh, okay. I decided to pick up a couple more pairs of underwear. So I got those. These are comfortable. Really comfortable. And my husband said that he really needed socks. So I went and looked at men's socks. And he said he wanted socks. I bought four packages of these socks. You get four pairs in each. They were not five dollars. I got them for three dollars each. OMG! Three dollars. So my husband's got a dozen pair of socks now. So that was the Walmart. Oh, I forgot one more thing at Walmart. Um, and I did pick up a little gift for myself. I had to pick it up. I just couldn't pass it up. And I picked up two of the Happy Mandela yarns. All for me. Me, 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 me. And no, Patsy, these are not for you. Sorry. Maybe next time. I have plans for these ones. I might make Bella um, a corner to corner me. It's Granny Square shawl and a lovey dress in these. I might. I'm not sure. So that's what I picked up at Walmart. And then I stopped off at the dollar store. Um, oh, I also picked these up at Walmart. These are my favorite, all time favorite candy. I love those ones. You give me one of those over a Smarties any day. Because I'm a sucker for Toffee Bay. Oh, I love those. Mm. So, I picked up this at the dollar store. Just to try it and see if it works. You can bend this. It's really hard to bend, though. So, I picked up that. That was like $3. And I had to, I just had to get more of my bags. These bags are so freaking cool. I love them so much. Straighten this one out. I guess I didn't fold that properly. But you know, it's so freaking cool. I love this guy here where he's sticking his tongue out. And this guy here. These are like so freaking cool. So I picked up three of those. And I'm just going to use them for project bags. You know, throw my uh, big projects in. Blankets, whatever. Um... And I've been having a lot of problems reading um, 
yarn some yarn bands are really hard to read so I picked myself up a uh, magnifying glass which will help me read the small print on the, the little tiny tiny prints on ball bands so I picked up one of those and then I know there's four of them here. Well, maybe I picked up three. I think I picked up three. Anyway, I love these so much that I had to go back and I had to get three more. Because they are huge. You got so much room in here. See? So my plans are for these to use them in uh, my beading. So when I make stitch markers and, and I have my finished stitch markers or my earrings done, um, I will place, ouch, I will place one that has, uh, <clears throat> I'll make one just for earrings. I will make one for big long stitch markers and I will make one for small stitch markers. So that's my plan on those. So my next endeavor is to do some beading tonight or stitch marker, stitch marker making, earring making, whatever. And Bella wanted to come and say hi. My little Bella. She, uh, she misses all of her yarny friends. She's been asking me to make another outfit for her. Um, because I didn't make one for her birthday and I didn't make one for New Year's. Um, which is my birthday, actually. I didn't make one for my birthday. So... Um, she's been asking me to make an outfit for her, so I'm going to work on doing that. But she's so pretty in her pretty little dress. So, that was my haul today. Um, parting comment. Well, actually, before I do the parting comment, and hopefully uh, if Crystal from Bago de Crochet is actually watching my video, I don't know if she watches my videos or not, but if Crystal is watching my video, um, I really need a help. I really need help because I need to find yarn like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my mannequin head and I'm going to take pictures of it and close-ups and I'm going to send you an email but if you could please tell me what kind of yarn that would be I would greatly appreciate it my friend wants me to help her try and find this um, she got this off of some Jamaican ladies that work at her plant and she says she really likes them and she wants to make some so they should be easy enough to make i did find some elast elastine elastine yarn on um ice yarns but i don't know if that's what this is so and this is another one she ordered this off a of wish and it's like a a beanie hat now the beanie hat is for those days that you don't want to wear a hat you just pop it on your head like this and you wear that and she asked me to find out what what type of yarn this is
So, Crystal, if you can help me out and you have any ideas, pop it in the comments below or send me an email at Polly's Crochet Creations at Hotmail, no, at Yahoo.com. Yeah, Yahoo.com. So, I told my friend that I would just hang on to these and I would try and find the yarn that she requires. So, um, I'm on the hunt for those. So parting comments, and I really, really, after today I've decided that I am not going to go shopping anymore. I am not going to go to Michael's for quite some time. Um, some of the stuff that I've picked up, I've actually picked up for, um, my friend out in Ontario. Uh, Patsy from Patsy's Crochet. And they're on a major lockdown right now, so they can't they can't buy crafting stuff. So that and she's got another box ready for me. Um, and I'm still working on making up her box. She'll get it by her birthday. So, parting comments. <clears throat> if you start something new, whether whatever it is, beading, crochet, knitting, whatever. If you start not something new, don't quit. You keep trying. Because eventually, you'll get it. Um, I'm learning something new almost every day when I'm crocheting. Um, I did learn how to do the herringbone stitch by watching some videos on YouTube and YouTube is actually a really good place to learn something new so don't quit keep trying um, okay my hey everybody sorry about that um, yeah I ran out of space on my phone I have to uh, do a little bit of uh, transferring to my computer and trying to free up a lot of space because I don't have enough space on my phone anyway like I said don't quit keep trying um, the outcome of a finished project will be absolutely wonderful I did crochet another hat but I misplaced it somewhere I swear I'm gonna take a box I'm going to throw all the hats that I've crocheted in it and I'm going to have a hat video. You stop that. I'm going to have a hat video. Sorry, I'm talking to my cat BJ. Being a bad boy. Anyway, um, so I'm going to have a hat video one of these days. And yes, Patsy from Patsy's Crochet, I will eventually do that tutorial on how to make my hat. Um, now that I have kind of added a little tweak to it, um, with your help and you telling me how other podcasters do their hats. So I actually have made a couple hats where I don't have the seam down the back anymore. Uh, you can't really see it on here. Yeah, I can't really see the seam. But I know the seam will go like here. Um, but I just kind of threw this one together. I like wearing hats because, um, well, number one, it covers up my hat, bad hair day. <laughs> my bad hair day. I just had a sh uh, bath, so I don't have bad hair day. Uh, but I do like wearing hats because they feel comfortable when I'm doing uh, videos. Um, I do have to find a way to crochet something for the summertime for a hat. Um, because these heavy hats are a little bit too much. I am crocheting a hat with the uh, Taibu yarn that... Um, <clears throat> the wonderful Patsy from Patsy's Crochet sent me. Um, so I'm working on crocheting a hat with that 
and we're going to see the outcome maybe in the next video. So don't quit, keep trying because eventually you'll get it. So you have a great day, evening, weekend, wherever you may be. And you guessed it. Keep on hooking. Bye from now. Catch you on the next video.